Good morning everyone, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is DJ Benji. We're gonna to talk to you about a problem that some of the Pioneer slash Alpha Theta XDJ users may have been coming across, and that is how to analyze your songs, all right? So one of the viewers in my comments asked a question about how they can analyze their songs because they're supposed to be having onboard analyzation on our XDJ AZs. And I think this is the same on the CDJ 3000s as well. So here we go, look, so we're gonna click on our local user library. If we go to our folder, you can see that there are no playlists or anything like that, right? No history, but we've only got our folders, right? So what we can do is we can go in here, we can go into here, and go into our UK garage selection, and we can find all of our lovely songs that we want, right? Now we can select one of these, select that one. So for example, if we haven't got a cue point saved, we can put one here. And then we might wanna add another one when the song gets a little bit more interesting. So like here, for example, we could put this one in. Let's load another track, we'll get the next one down, we'll load that. And you can see it takes a little while to analyze the songs, but then it will give me the BPM and everything. But if I go back and go back to this one, you can see that the cue points that we had, that we put in, have been saved. So that's one way around it, right? Which is cool. However, if we go to playlist or tag list or browse, or search, and we search in uh, Wookie, for example, nothing comes up, right? So that's how do we get around that? So what we need is we need our trusty laptop, and we have to go on our laptop, and we type our password in. So we're gonna plug this into this, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug that into the side of our laptop and then everything's going to be good and then what we're going to do is we're going to so have to load up record box and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on here we go ukg so you can see we go playlist there are no playlists if we want to create a playlist all we're going to do is just go here now the thing is if your device library this one here this is for um this is for older style uh, CDJs, so we can create a playlist. If you want a playlist that's gonna work on your XDJ AZ, you need to do a device library plus playlist. So we're gonna click here and then we're gonna, and then we've got our playlist and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag some songs from our computer into here, right? So, and as you can see, it takes ages. Now, one of the things that I'd really recommend that um, you do with your music on your folder, so see how I've got this here. If we go to our, we go to our garage tracks here. If we click on this, what you'll see is I've got all my tracks split out into different colors: aqua, dark blue, light green, green, yellow, orange, red, purple. So basically, where the color scheme thing comes from, and what I really recommend is that you give all of your songs a color scheme. So even if you don't have record box, or maybe you don't like using record box, or whether you prefer to use Serato or Algorithm DJ, when organizing your files on your computer, because you're gonna need a computer to put them on the USB stick, right? Because you can't go into a shop at the moment and buy a USB stick full of songs. I wish you could, but no one's doing that, right? So wherever you get your music from, whether it's Beatport, whether it's iTunes, whether it's Bandcamp, and all the other many suppliers that there are, basically when you download your music, what you wanna do is listen to it in context, and then what you wanna do is the different genres of music that you have, so say for example, you've got your R&B and hip hop, and you've got your dance music, you've got your speed garage, and your bass line, your two-step, put it into different folders, so it's all nice and organized. So when you do copy it across to USB stick, you've got different genres under different folders. And you can go one further than that, right? So 
years and years ago when I was playing off of uh, CDs, I used to work in a bar in Tenerife called Oasis Bar, and basically it was free entry. So the problem was lots of people would come in, it didn't cost any money to get in, so we had to come up with a system to try and keep the people in, because basically the longer that the people stayed, the more money that they spent, the more money that they spent, the more money I got. So I come up with this system which was basically a color system. So you'd have like your light blues and then your dark blues, and then we go into like light green, then green, then yellow, then orange, and then red. So basically the different colors, the harder and more energy the song had, right? So what I've done is I've um, color coded all of my music. When I get it downloaded, I, I put it into different folders. So I know even if I forget what particular song is, I know that I can mix it quite easily, a yellow one with a yellow one, or an orange one with an orange one, because they're gonna be like similar energy levels. See now the final thing is, let's say you wanted to give each song a color, what you can actually do is, um, your playlist that you've created, let's say we've got this one, go back in here, Okay, we go back to here, and let's say we've got our old school playlist, what we can do is we can move along, and if you can't see this color, what you need to do is right click and then just click down here, find color, then all you do is go back down, where are the currents down here, look, color, and then what you can do is you can highlight them all, and let, let's say we wanted to give these two like a, if we scroll down here on this, sometimes it'll be on summary, just click on this info box, we can actually go down here, we can give these two a color, and then we can go to yellow, and then maybe these ones might be orange, for example, and then we can go orange. And then once we've done that, then what we can do is we can, come out of this and we can eject. So right, if we go to source, USB one, local disc, if we go to our playlist, you can see that the songs that we created are now in our playlist. We can order them by key because they've all been analyzed. We can also, if we go filter, if we go hold that down and we go to red, which I think I've done the other color, See, there's no red ones. You hold it down. You go to green or blue or orange. I think that's orange or you will go to yellow. You can see there's only two yellow ones, which is really, really handy because now if you was only looking for yellow songs within that genre, it will display all the yellow songs with the same energy levels, which is absolutely fantastic, all right? So what we can actually do is, if we go to our other USB stick to show you one, here's one I made earlier, style. If we go to this playlist, and we go to this playlist here, what we can see is if we go to the track filter option, and we have the color on, if we only want to show the blue ones, for example, go there, and that will only show my blue songs. If I come out of that, and I want to show the slightly heavier ones, the green ones, it'll only show me the green ones. Which is cool, because now I can hit that key and then I can mix five, six, six, eight, and I know that I'm gonna be mixing in key. There we go. Anyway guys, I hope you find the tutorial useful. This is how I organize my music, and so it's easily findable on every single memory stick. So I have my own system on how to play. So wherever I go in the world, as long as I have my USB, I could still play and I'll still be able to play a good set. But it all comes down to knowing your tunes at the end of the day. So I recommend that you practice a lot with your songs so you'll know exactly what you've got. All right. So anyway, guys, take care. Have a lovely weekend. DJ Benji, peace out.